Hi everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video which I have been wanting to do for a long time, but I just haven't gotten to it. So today I'm going to be cleaning and clearing my room with you guys. My room, because it's quite small, it easily gets messy. And over the last couple of months, a lot of things are like school books and like my desk especially has built up. From the outside, it looks all right right now, but from the inside, it's kind of just a big clutter of mess. Especially because it's coming to the end of the school year and it's almost summer, I kind of want my room to be all fresh for the summer. So I think what I'm gonna do is clear my room, kind of move stuff around and clear some stuff out that I don't want in here. And just kind of like make my room feel a bit more like airy. I was gonna do this video as like clean my desk with me because I have done and organizing my desk video before and you guys really liked it because i feel like i can do that quite fast i don't think that should just be made into one video i feel like i can do a, like full on cleaning my room and clearing out especially because i have some quite exciting news which i've been keeping from you guys the clearing out part isn't fully clearing out right now because i'm actually moving rooms i've been in this room for over six years i don't know if you guys know i feel like it looks bigger on camera but my room is very small like the floor area is the only area of my room which i can walk in and there's like barely any room i've actually liked having a small room but recently i've just been wanting to move rooms it's also like the darkest room bedroom wise it's just easier to film in a bright room and i always find it hard to light my videos in my room so i'm moving rooms i've been so excited about this i didn't tell you guys until now because i wasn't completely sure about it but i'm moving into my parents room which if you've seen my sister Rayleigh's room it's very similar to that one like it's the same sort of size so I'm so excited it should be done before my birthday and I'll definitely be filming like a, quite a few videos and that I could probably get in like moving rooms decorating rooms room tour I have a lot of videos which I can do on that but because of that I feel like organizing my room is a good idea and maybe clearing some stuff out that I don't want in here also look I got my hair cut this is what it looks like my hair I didn't realize how long it grew out but like it was literally down to like here I think it was so long and I've cut it short I got my bangs done I haven't styled it so it's kind of like weird today but we're gonna ignore that because it's Sunday and I'm washing it later on so let's get started with this video I on purpose kind of left my room fairly messy like I haven't put stuff away this morning because why would I do that when I'm doing a cleaning video anyways first things first I think the first thing I'm gonna clear out is my desk it's the thing that's bugging me the most it's not like overly messy it's more that it's just really random stuff in there which could probably be organized and easier to access and it's just like a build-up of all my school stuff and because year 11's next year GCSEs kind of want my desk area to be more organized for revising and all of that this is it. You can see me in the background. This is the main desk area. It's got like random sheets of paper from school. I've used some more like plasters in here and like money in a purse. Like it's just so random. I'd rather clear some of this stuff out because some of this I don't even need. This is the other one. I don't like the way this is organized. It's so random. Some of this stuff I would prefer not to have in my room. These are like these rubbers I used to collect when I was younger. Yeah, it's just random. This isn't so bad. A lot of these pens are like ran out and they're like from school, which I brought home because they ran out. What okay my school had this thing going on when they like bring in babies and like give them to people these little baby things and like i got given three by these people and i don't know why they ended up there i think it's because i took them out of my blazer and just put them there see look i've literally got a plastic baby in my drawer it's just so random i swear someone named this as well here yeah, there's just a bunch of revision stuff here this box don't know what's going on in there i also hate the way that's organized like it's getting on my nerves so now you've seen the before we're gonna get on with this and organize this and maybe clear out a couple things which i don't want right first thing first i have these like sheets of like homework which i just put in a folder up there it's my like drama folder so whenever i find a sheet i'm gonna put it in the folders and i also have these are books one of them's a youtube book it has like um ideas which i wrote in but now i use my phone and i use my notes to have youtube ideas instead so we don't need that I've just brought out one of my things from the drawer. So I put glues, print sticks in one. This is ridiculous, this glue, right? My mum bought me because I needed a glue for my art. It doesn't do anything. It's not even sticky. It's ridiculous. That's in the bin. That one's full. That's good. That one's full as well. We've got two glues. We've also got some Tipex in here, which I'll put in that one as well. Got some money, which that should be going in a purse. These are little like tabs for like books. These are really good for revision books. So I'm definitely going to put that in with a sharpener. I think I might put my revision cards in here as well, because they'll stay there. I don't know, I'm running out of revision cards. 
the best way to organize something like a drawer is to make sure it's quite clear because if you're going to have loads of stuff built up in there you're never going to find anything so it's easier i've got a spare pen which i'm just going to put there as well because it's easy to get to what's this i think this might be my old timetable from year nine. Oh, that's so sad oh that's my timetable now oh my gosh i didn't even realize i had this this is breath spray i kind of like the taste of it that went out of date in 2020 we are not so we've got one of these done we have another one this barely got anything in it which i don't know why i actually think i might put nail glue in this one though it's just get easy to go to tip x this one doesn't work that's gonna go in the bin what's this called again nintendo my nintendo switch is here it's out of um battery though Right, now we are going to pack it. I've got these. I'm keeping my purses in there because they're really easy to get to here. And I'll remember that it's there. I actually don't need this one because it's only got these things in it. So I'm thinking I just put that in this one. I'm going to move this one here. This has been really frustrating me. I just don't think it looks very nice and it makes my desk look really cluttered. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff into this and then it will all be like underneath the drawer and it will look really clean. I've got colored pencils there. These are shading pencils for art. And this is my math skip. This is this drawer finished. This is the score. I made this peanut butter banana bread yesterday. It's so good. Wow. So how I organise this is I put all of my art stuff in here. This is like a little booklet to show you how to like draw certain things. This is something which I'm working on in my sketchbook and this is stuff I'm working on. So I put all the stuff I'm in the middle of doing on the top. So that's what's in there. Then here we've got loads that needs to go in the bin. This is my history revision stuff which is in there and this is some um, science stuff which I'll put in their folders in a minute. Then I've just got my science book here which I'll put with my other science stuff. Once I've done this the desk area is complete and then I can move on to kind of the more cleaning area. This was more clearer now. I also just straighten these out and now my whole desk area is done. <laughs> it's fake, I promise. That's that area done more clean. I have to take out some of these candles and I'm sorry I killed this plan. I didn't even know I had it. I think Rayleigh snuck it into my room. Look at the difference. This half of my room looks so clean. Then you've got this and this. We'll get to it. So we've done like half of my room now. It's looking definitely a lot cleaner. Now I need to do this shelf here because it's just very cluttered and then I'm going to do my vanity and then that's all I'm doing. I'm not like doing any clothes because I recently have cleared my clothes and they're kind of clean at the moment. I'm gonna now do this. Mostly like the perfume area needs cleaning, but I also want this to be a very clear shelf. And I feel like right now it's like just really cluttered. This is the drawer that I usually keep my perfumes in and these are ones that I don't have out. A lot of them are empty, so I need to get rid of quite a few of them. I'm gonna put like the ones that I don't use every day in that drawer and then the ones that like are my main ones, I'm gonna keep out. Right, we just got rid of all of them ones and we put them in my drawer over here now and I just kept my main perfumes which I use. These are actually my main perfumes if anyone wants some good perfume recommendations. This one's actually actually empty but I keep it just so I remember it because it's my favourite one. This is the Vera Wang Princess perfume. It's really really nice. Then this is one from Bow Avenue. It's the Bow Wellness Love Bow one. It's actually like a roll on one so it's really easy to like take around with you. This is the Daisy Mark Jacobs and these are the Agent Provocateur. I think now all I'm going to do is rearrange some of the things on here because there's some things that I feel like could look better on different shelves. So this is what it looks like now I've cleared it. It looks a lot more clean I think and I just really like the way it looks now.
Okay, so I'm gonna do my vanity now. Here is my vanity all cleaned. I didn't really need to do much. It was more just cleaning stuff up. And I'll go through it with you because I have changed quite a lot since last time I showed you. Down here is all of my makeup. So it's just like literally all of my makeup there. On the main part of it, we have my brushes and I like kind of ended up mixing them, but I split them back into my smaller brushes and then my big fluffy ones. Underneath here, we've got all my extra stuff for makeup and that sort of thing. So I've got my favorite toner, my two set and sprays, my favorite lipstick, lip balm, and some hair bubbles. And then in these ones we have extra skincare kind of going in order of importance kind of so like i use my super cream all the time and then also like my favorite body lotion then these are face masks and then they're hair bubbles over here it's got all my favorite skincare as well i split these two into the top one has all my extra skincare products in and then i just put my cotton pads in there and then underneath the extra makeup and then finally in the drawer we've got my main skincare product so we've got this has got hair bubbles in i've got my eyelash curler there because it's easiest to get to there my two moisturizers and this is like random eyelashes and then i've also got my favorite lip balm on top i also just re-put my um hair clip there to do my makeup and also my two claw clips that is my vanity all clean So that is my whole room clean now. The last thing I'm gonna do just to kind of finish it off is I've got my mum's stuff for this, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a hoover and then also I've got some like polish and spray, which I'll put on like my desks and things like that. And then I'm also gonna spray a bit of room spray just to finish it off because it really has a really nice room spray. So I just finished my room and I just cleaned it. Now I'm gonna just spray it with room spray. If you compare it to the, what it looked like in the beginning, it's definitely a massive change. It took me about three hours to do because I like completely deep cleaned everything. Here is my room all clean and finished. So that about wraps up this video. I've now cleaned my room and I'm definitely a lot happier with it now. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Obviously, I will be having some more like like room videos coming out. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Enchanté.